guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne. Um, today, like I promised, we're gonna use Derma Bun. I got the brush here, the concealer here, um, and I have the cream coverage in pale ivy here ivory here. So I've already gone ahead and did the under eyes with my Becca Anti Fatigue. And I actually use my Doll 10 um skin. Genus Genius Tinted Primer. Why do I always say that the wrong way? Always. It's like my brain is wired differently. <laughs> it is. Anyway, okay, so we went to the post office yesterday after I posted my video. I got my I'm just gonna rename my channel to What Can Roxanne Drop Today? So I went ahead and opened it only because my little girl thought it was a gift for her and decided to, seriously, I just, <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> she thought it was a gift for her. So she's like, oh, and she carried it around and we went to the pet store and the pet store here in town, um, it's actually the breeder I got Sasha from. Uh, she owns it, so we went in there and we got her nails clipped, and she had to bring that everywhere. It got dropped so many times, so I thought I'd better open it just to make sure nothing was broken, because I don't want to open it up broken on camera, and everyone think that it came that way. So anyway, um, I was just thinking I was going to keep one of the items. So some of these items are going to go into my giveaway, which should be announced. I think I'm going to announce it on Monday, okay? So... I got the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replacing Hydrator. So I may keep this only because I use um, the retinol at night and this um, this kind of stuff I need. I am using the banana one right now from Glow, so I don't know. This may or may not go into the giveaway. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have lots of hair masks. So this, I'm not sure because my daughter does like, but it's the Brigio Don't Despair. Um deep conditioning hair mask um, my older daughter absolutely loves this stuff so she might get it um what else did i get in here so i am going to likely throw this in the giveaway just depends on where it's going because yeah i don't want to ship this to the states um but this is valentino i don't wear perfumes much um and then i got the true belief aqua bomb which i did open um it has no like yeah, so I might keep one or the other one. I'm not exactly sure again. Um, now, I do know that this is definitely going in. This is the Milk Kush uh, mascara because I do have that one here. So I'm putting it in this box here. I have a box. It's going in there. So um, the other item I got was the NARS blush, which I want to use today. Then I decided to um, grab the Charlotte Tilbury sample, and I got it. It is Charlotte Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. So I just had a... I'm just remembering that I have this primer and I haven't seen it since I used it once. Oh. Isn't that funny how life works? Like you forget about something until, yeah, you're like, oh, where is it? Oh, that's right, it's right here, okay. Sorry guys. My, my mind's weird, I know. Then I also got this. So maybe I will save this for later on in this week. It is the Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez. Um, a soft pinch liquid blush and positive liquid luminizer featuring lightweight liquid formulas that blend, build, and layer together. Seemingly, seemingly less, seamlessly. For soft focus color with natural lift from within. I'm really excited to try this one here and this one. Oh, maybe this one too. Let's see if there's something on them. Oh, it's just the middle of the package. Okay. So anyway, I'm excited to try both of these items. So those will be tried this week. I'm going to put those items over there for now because I don't want them in my way. I'm also going to put this on today. I also grabbed it some green eyeliners. I have that mascara and this super tiny blush. Maybe I can pan this blush. 
Okay, let's pull this out. Ta-da! Yes. Okay, so there it is there. I don't know why. Oh, there is a mirror. No, there's no mirror. It's just really reflective plastic. <laughs> I don't know where my head is today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel it. Oh, my daughter fell, crawled into bed at like four this morning and she was just sleeping on me and yeah. So, okay, let's have some fun here. So I, I'm going to be using a very, very high, high, high um, camouflage. So this will take me a bit. I'm like, where did I put my phone? There it is. No, I don't want to open it. Okay. So are we ready? Six minutes into this. Okay, so there's dog hair in it already. She hasn't been near this, so. So with this, you have to warm it up. So as you can see, it is really easy to warm up, but you do have to warm it up. So. Warming up. Okay, so. We'll take her. Are you ready? As I get my brush all nice and dirty. Okay. Not that it matters. I have it all, let me get it all over my face. So if you guys remember, I've already showed you this. If you've been here before, if you haven't, well then you can go back and look at my first application. Oh, it was so much fun. So much fun. I do, I will say I do like this. Um, this foundation. This foundation, yeah, that's what you want to say, Roxanne. Oh my gosh. Um, it really does have a high coverage point, but let's just face it. This side is really hard to cover. Like, really hard. So, I... Okay. Stop talking and start working. Okay. It looks so pale. So, oh my gosh, I forgot. Just because there's so much on there. So when I add the, um, the, what is it called? Uh, setting powder, it does dry it up a bit. So don't be afraid. We'll add some color to it. I will add some bronzer to it. I know it looks like a lot, trust me. Okay. He's using the wrong brush there too. So I am going to put the um, concealer on now. Okay. 
Okay, so Derma Blend has its own setting powder. I did get this in like a bit of a kit, so. Let's put this on and I'll be right back and hopefully bring some color to myself. Okay, while this sits, I'm going to actually um, work on my eyes a bit. i got to let this set for about five minutes. So, we're just going to go in with this palette here. I'm going to go in with Wink. And a soft pink and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher than I normally do because I want this to be seen I'm gonna use this as like the yeah, transition color sort of thing so there's wink okay so I'm gonna go in with infatuated here Just bring it down. I'm gonna take off this now that it's been about five minutes. So that really, really tones down, actually. I still feel very light looking in the mirror, so we would definitely have to add some bronzer today. And yes, I can still see it, so. Okay, so I am going to go in with. Ooh, go in with this little beauty right here. with just primer here okay. 
So I am going to go in with the green today because I feel like today is a very green-ish day. Actually, I'm probably going to use this one here. Okay, so I am going to go in with... Woo! Let's go in with all of me and then all of glow. So all of me here and then all of glow here. Let's see how this works. So going in with the olive glow now. So I'm going to take this little brush here, and I'm going to go in with this All of You right here. Okay. And I am going to So I think this green here, because it's a darker green, is going to go better. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use this one. So I'll be right back. So we've done the eyeliner. don't have much time left on my memory card. So... Okay, so let's go in with the milk. I'm back. Let's, I'm going to go in actually with another color here. Let's go under with, see I put the green eyeliner under. So I am going to take this infatuated and I am just going to make sure that you guys can see that. Put it darker down there. I'm going to get rid of that little bit of a gap. Then I'm going to take this one here and go in with this wink. I'm just going to kind of bring it in here a little bit. And just diffuse it lightly. Like I don't want it there, like in your eye there. I want it lightly there. So now I am going to go in with this color called Major Spotlight here. Okay. And I'm just going to take sorry. I just want to put like a little bit right here. Oh, my nose. I'm actually going to take this Lovebird shade right here. Again with the same one. I just want to put just a little bit under here. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a lift. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna put any more under my eyes like I usually do. I just don't feel it today. Just don't feel it today. I don't feel like dealing with my nose either. Can somebody come and take my nose? Just take it. Okay. Using the e.l.f. Wow. So, uh, uh, I think I need to do my rest. Okay. Okay. So what do you guys think of the eye look so far? I really, really, really like this eye look. Okay. I think I threw all of my brushes in the wash yesterday because I was like, oh, I need to wash some brushes. So yes, they're all in the brush. They're all in the wash, the brush. No, I don't want anything that's, I don't want to move my, my cat has found like all of my beauty blenders. I don't know if you guys can see this one, but look. She has eaten it. I did throw one out. Throw it out. Okay. I'm so mad. At myself. Not at her. She's just being a cat. She's a good thing she's cute. Okay, so... I am going to go in with my bronzer. Whoa, phone. Whoa. Okay, go in with my bronzer. I don't even have to, like, do this heavy. Just nice and light. Okay, so. There won't be a double chin. Just want to add some warmth to my face. Not make it look so white. You know, summer is coming. This is the doll tech beauty. This is made in Canada. This is a really nice blush. Okay, guys, here is the final look for you today. I did have to fix up around my nose, which wasn't pretty hard to do. Um, just that because my uh, nose is running so much. And I know you guys hear me snuffle in the videos. And I try so hard to cut that part out. Just because I cannot stand it listening to it. I can't imagine what you guys are going through. So I apologize profusely for that. Um... Do I like this look? I absolutely love the green look. It's very, very pretty, especially with the pink. I really do like the, uh, the pink purple look that I did create around my eyes. Um, as for the Derma Blend itself, it is a very good cover, but it's going to wear so badly on me today. I can just see it now. Um, the foundation that I tried out yesterday from Catrice actually um, it did the same thing too. It wore. Um, one thing I will say is that I think sometimes my primer gives out and so all the makeup just gets sucked into my pores and I have very large pores. 
So it's really, really hard for me. And it's mostly just on the one side. Like on this side, when it wears, it doesn't like... Most of my foundation matches my skin really good. So it's really hard to tell what is worn and what isn't. Um, but on this side, it's just like such a glaring, you know, thing. Now, mind you, I was at home. I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. So I really didn't care, right? But it is a bit frustrating for me. So today's video, I just want to say this. Um, today's video is not about hiding who I am. My birthmark doesn't really define who I am. It makes me easier to recognize and I think that's about it. Um, I do have some health issues with my birthmark and there's times when I just want to look, see what I look like, what I would look like norm normally, I guess you would say. Um, try to refrain from any negative comments. It, they'll likely get deleted anyway, so <laughs> whatever. I don't know, like I just wanted to try something with high coverage and just see, you know, from my own perspective. It's not for, didn't do this for anybody. I didn't get paid to do any of this. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today for what it was worth. Um, I know it was rather long for me to make. It took me almost an hour to do all of this. So I will try to condense it down for you so I don't suck an hour at <laughs> you life but if you guys want to just leave you know um leave a comment below whether you liked this video if you'd like to see me use derma blend some more um i will definitely say there is a bit of a learning curve with derma blend so yeah um let me know below and let me know what you guys think of the palette the um violet voss all of you i really really liked it i'm not into greens but these greens are spectacular um i was unsure with the pink how it would look but um i feel like this is like a a really nice romantic um look i will say this doll 10 eyeliner oh my gosh it went on so smooth it wasn't even funny um of course the um nars blush you can kind of see it there it's kind of giving me a pop of color um, I will say that the highlighter from the doll 10 is actually spot on, um, but yeah, I'm gonna, uh, try to get over to some place to look for, um, some eyebrow gel, because yeah, we're going into a state of lockdown as of tomorrow, and honestly, tomorrow I'll probably just want to stay on the couch anyway. Anyway, guys, I hope today is a great day for you. If you want to go ahead and give this video a like and maybe give it a share. And uh, just make sure you're subscribed because come Monday there's going to be a giveaway. Have a good day.